How's it going, buddy? Yeah, this was a bad plan. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the Dom, uh, Kaluna, Trisha Hello. Bell, and Spaz. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hello. Thank you for helping out tonight. I, I, I'm sure Tara is going to be relieved to know that, that it takes four people to replace her. <laughs> oh, absolutely. For, for one of these segments. <laughs> so how are you all doing? Good. Yeah, good. pretty good. I have a fever. He's he's dying. So. <laughs> he has the pain. <laughs> We're in a small room with him. Great. You've, you've, you've checked, you've checked for, for bite marks, right? <laughs> you don't have a hidden zombie on your list? Oh, okay. No. Well, they'll be not the, you'll yet. have the recorded footage. We, we should, so we should we stake got... him just to be safe. <laughs> yeah. Only when I'm sleeping. Mm -hmm. No, no. Give me my power. <laughs> I, I understand I interrupted D&D &D tonight for this, so I appreciate it. Uh, We're just delaying it. We're going to no do it worries. later. This is what the mustache is for. It's my character. <laughs> so, so Frederick Ducky, the 16th. <laughs> Should we give detailed descriptions of our D&D character? <laughs> let's, let's, let's not! <laughs> I've... I've role played for many years, and probably the phrase regards to role playing that causes dread and fear to clot in my chest is let me tell you about my character. <laughs> you are right to fear it. It's one of those. Uh, uh, let me tell you about my character, guys. Um, okay, Dom, you're not in the chat, so I'm gonna have to PM you these on Twitter, but that'll that'll still work. Yep. All right, so now that we're all here and shit's weird, let's <laughs> let's commence. I apologize for nothing. That's fair. Mm. That's fair. Uh, okay, let's let's <laughs> he's British. <laughs> <laughs> I get to say that. that that's nationalist. Wait, wait a minute. Why do you get to say that? <laughs> he can't get mad at me. Mm. I have other British, British people watching. That's fair. That's fair. That's true. That's yeah. a good point. There's a lot of us. <laughs> yeah, there's like a whole I mean, country. Island, so. Oh, you see what I have to put up with. You moved here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine's Radio Dead Air audience go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring you back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And my camera was shifted over there. There we go. Crazy. God damn it. What's wrong with my camera? What's wrong with my shot? My shot's fucking It doesn't good. like you. It has a will of its own. Oh, well. I guess I'll have to deal with the fucked up shot. So, um, <laughs> so Easter has come and gone. Yep. Yep. And uh, Jesus has risen and left eggs for everyone. Christian That's respawn right. day. Yeah. So, um, in, in that spirit, we have a, uh, a wonderful heartwarming <laughs> Easter tale. Um, oh, oh boy. Kids, oh boy. Oh boy. you can love the Easter bunny. Just don't. Love the Easter Bunny. Oh no. <laughs> Intoxicated oh. Ohio woman charged with making after making lewd comments oh. to the Easter Bunny. This one's for Brody. <laughs> she wanted to shag the Easter Bunny? I know. <laughs> An intoxicated <laughs> Mansfield sounds looking at her. Yeah. An intoxicated hey, hey, hey. An intoxicated, <laughs> an intoxicated Mansfield woman was arrested on Saturday after making lewd comments to the Easter Bunny. LaDonna Hewitt, 54, was arrested at Richland Carousel Park. Witnesses told police the woman made several lewd comments while taking a photograph with the Easter Bunny and appeared to be in intoxicated. Afterwards, Hewitt went for a ride on the carousel. How delightful. Police say Hewitt appeared to be under the influence... When they arrived, she was charged with drunkenness and taken to Richland County Jail. And I, who wrote this? Drew Schofield. Just look at the picture. He just exudes sass. 
Hey there. Just like mm. you, you want to see what's in my Easter basket? Oh no! <laughs> the last line of this story is, um, I, I, that's why I looked up who wrote this. No word on the toll on all this excitement oh. took on the Easter bunny. That's more painful than the story itself. Mm. But that, that, uh, mm. Having your aunt who works at the gas station chat up the Easter Bunny has got to be an there's embarrassing. No coming, there's no coming back from that. You, you're never no. going on the Easter hunt again. Well, yeah. this this is one of those things where Twitter is where Google is forever. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you're ever applying for a job now, they're gonna Google your name, and the first thing that's gonna pop up is you got drunk and hit on the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Yep. You can sober up, but the next morning you're still the woman who tried to shag the Easter Bunny. Yep. Oh, yep. Maybe she's just a big fan of Rise of the Guardians. That, that was a pretty Yeah. He was Hugh Jackman. Yeah. So, yeah. She thought it was Hugh Jackman. She saw Shape of Water and thought it could apply <laughs> to above water creatures, no, no, too. No, she got Shape of Water and Watership Down mixed up. Oh, yeah. oh, Shape no. of Watership Down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a wonderful Aren't time. Aren't you glad you invited us tonight? <laughs> That's a word for it, yeah. That is a word. <laughs> you did this to yourself. Well, we've covered the secular side of Easter. Let's let's get to the more uh, sanctified part, because Lord. let's let's not forget the reason for the season. Dear Lord. Which is, it of course, a confusing mixture of, you know, Jesus and bunnies. Yeah. And we we do know that, that Easter is the celebration. In, in the Christian faith of the day that Jesus rose from the dead and broke into a pizza hut. <gasps> <laughs> this is Jesus Christ, and I just broke into Pizza Hut, North Carolina oh, man's 911. That must have been from the book of Matthew, because I didn't I didn't read that bit. Damn. That was, that was a puck. <laughs> <laughs> a Greensboro man claiming to be Jesus Christ called High Point 911, and told the dispatchers he broke into a pizza hut. Caller also said he was, quote, starving to death. <clears throat> yes, this is Jesus Christ, and I just broke into the pizza hut, 46-year-old. You could have always divided the loaves and the anchovies. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crazy bread. 46-year-old Richard Lee Quintero told dispatchers, Jesus is here. He's back on Earth. I just broke in and had a pizza. I'm Jesus. So he really <laughs> wanted to nail, by the way, this is Jesus. He just wanted... in case there's any yeah. doubt that yeah. I'm Jesus, I would like to make it clear that I am Jesus. I was speaking, yeah. I was speaking in the third person. When questioned by 911 dispatchers, when questioned by 911 dispatchers, Quintero told dispatchers, because I'm Jesus, I can do whatever I want. I mean, he's, if, yeah, not uh, wrong. wrong. Sounds legit. Take this meat lovers in remembrance of me. <laughs> <laughs> Except not on Fridays. <laughs> Take this diet Mountain Dew, which is my blood. <laughs> <laughs> no, and behold, this, man, this blood has become marinara. <laughs> One of you will not pay their share of the tip tonight. <laughs> Why? I mean, he's, hello, he, blessed are the hot and ready five dollar pepperonis. I mean, he, he docked himself in. That's the thing. He he called the police himself. Yes, he he broke into he the pizza the hut. Crowd. He broke into the pizza hut and he called the police and said, "Hello, this is Jesus. I broke into the pizza hut." <laughs> you know, points for honesty. Yeah. <laughs> Sin, was he that sure that the Jesus get out was going to work? That he was like, you know what? I don't even need to hide. I'm going to call them and be like, wait, I'm Jesus. Yo, just, <laughs> just so you guys know, I broke in, but it's cool because I'm Jesus. Is North Carolina in the Bible Belt? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, it is. <laughs> yes. I was born there. Yeah. I just, and, and the picture of this guy is just like, yeah, I'm you didn't beat the lady from the other photo. They can just <laughs> <laughs> the sass off. The great. Like uh, I'm Jesus is not a get out of jail free card. No, it's not. <laughs> well, you don't know until you try. That's yeah. true. It wasn't a get out of jail free card for Jesus. That is true. <laughs> 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 Good point. 
Yeah, it's yeah, got a lovely crucifix waiting for you then, or you can go to jail. Yeah, yeah historically, sure. that gets you killed. We come back. <laughs> on the third day, day, three days what is later, a on the third day, the dough rose again. <laughs> <laughs> he was released on good behavior. <laughs> All right, let's let's move right along. Um, have you ever gotten a gift you just did not want? Every Christmas. Every Christmas. <laughs> um, I've I've had this happen before, and it's and it's like you got it. You're nice about it, but eventually that that gift is getting in the box and being put in a room somewhere, so that just in case they ever ask about it, you'd be like, here it is, but. Well, a North Alabama woman had a uh, different solution to receiving a gift. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. We're just hopping all around these. Um, this, this... <laughs> it's North Alabama. Yes. I am probably kin to this woman. I woman would jailed for setting motel fire with burning package of ham. <laughs> I. How do you want your ham? On fire. As a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> North Alabama it's a woman. So tan, it would work wonders. <laughs> North Alabama woman is jailed on felony arson charge for setting fire to a package of ham and tossing it to the garbage can at an Athens motel. Beverly Harrison, 62, is accused of setting the fire that caused an explosion at the Bomar Inn. <laughs> oh my God! No injuries <laughs> are. <laughs> No injuries were reported in the fire, though Harrison's room was significantly damaged. Investigators learned family had brought Harrison a pack of ham to eat, and she didn't want the ham. After the family left, she set the ham on fire and put it in the garbage can. I'm not entirely I, certain I, this isn't my grandmother. What? Maybe she's a vegetarian. Why would it need to be on fire? <laughs> That's all right, pre-cooked. Well, she doesn't eat meat, how would you, she know? You, you can throw it away without it being on fire. Did, it, did she not know this? Well, but, but you're missing Back the part where she has an opportunity to set something on fire. Well, yeah, did, that's, yeah. But, I'm guessing she didn't expect the motel to explode. Oh, it gets, it gets better. When smoke started oh, filling Harrison's room, she grabbed her dog and left. At no time did she alert anyone to the fire. The fire caused a can of butane fuel to explode. Ah, oh, there's the explosion. Yep. Was it kept in the bin? <laughs> well, if the if the room right it. if the room catches fire and it reaches well, yeah. the it yeah. no, that is one hell of a bitch. Like, well, who do I say? My dog or everyone else? <laughs> Come on, Fluffy. <laughs> as long as, as, long as you're fine. <laughs> Well, the way the story's written, it's like she just threw the ham, the on fire ham, in the garbage can and just picked up her dog and left. Like, oh, I don't want she this. just assumes the fire will be put oh, out shit. by magic. <laughs> and that that is that is it, like, mm, I'm out. That is <laughs> yeah. one hell of a mugshot there. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's really time for us to. Oh. Oh, God. God. <laughs> yep, oh no. <laughs> she looks like one of the Who's from that horrifying uh, <laughs> Grinch movie. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm Ken. That looks I'm... like one of your in-laws, honey. <laughs> she, she's got like the I'm pretty face. certain I'm Ken. She's kind of got like a she Thanos has... raisin face going on. <laughs> she has no upper lip. <laughs> it just kind of sunk into itself. She's, th that, is, that is someone who just, that, that's the look of someone who's like, yeah, and... Yeah. yeah, I set it on fire. Yeah. And I? again, Miss Gibbs, no fox. That <laughs> sounds like a teacher. I mean, my grandmother <laughs> threw a cake out the window once because it wouldn't rise. But it wasn't on so... fire. Ham <laughs> isn't even flammable. How did you <laughs> this happen? <laughs> Don't you also have a story about like your parents throwing bacon out the window because they used potpourri instead of? No, that was my grandmother as well. Yeah. Again, it wasn't on fire. It was hot grease. I feel like fire is the key element to this story. <laughs> I'm just saying, throwing food products is kind of a North Alabama tradition. <laughs> well, in this it case, she messed the be. fucking tradition and just threw it in the carpet. <laughs> Were there no windows? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, let's... Uh, th this is one of those cases where... 
I, we, I think we've all been taught at some point, if we find something that we know is dangerous, leave it alone and call an authority. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude. This is the exact opposite. What do you want, Grady? Hold on a second. Grady! Grady, come back here. Grady, 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 Grady. <laughs> come here. <laughs> oh, don't run away. Get him, get him. Damn it, cat. Come back here. Where's the little kitty? Grady. Grady. <laughs> 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 just, just see him bugs buddy here because it's going to be Grady. <laughs> Grady. <laughs> Like well, all you like see is a tail. Well, we're on our own, kids. <laughs> we control the RDA now. Yes! <laughs> we control the vertical and the horizontal. <laughs> DPI. Uh, what? That was so, a deep so, cut. Yeah. Does, does anyone know any good jokes? <laughs> you had a whole book Let's try this right again, there. shall we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the... Griff says hi. Everyone's cheering. Oh, hey, he's a kitty. Hey, buddy. I agree. Oh, he's so fluffy. You started it. You started yelling at me. Of course, I came and got you. Yay! <laughs> oh, what so a good cat. Fluffy. He's so fluffy. I want to die. What kind of kitty is he? A ragdoll. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we have no kitties here. That's a ten percent increase in rank. <laughs> yeah. Ten percent. Yeah. Good that good. I you pay that because it's a kitty. Yeah, it's like, it's like fifty to a hundred dollars a month added rent. At if you get a doctor's note saying it's a it's a happiness cat, then it is. Charge. Yeah, if it's for any like psychological therapy, reasons. therapy reasons, emotional yeah. support, emotional support or therapy. He looks cat. very emotionally supportive. <laughs> <laughs> He's just He's falling nice. asleep. He's just asleep on nuts. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's move on to the really, let's move on to the stupid shit. Yay! Yay. So, what was it till now? Oh boy. My kids are apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, pop quiz, Hotshot. You find a box of goddamn antique dynamite. What do you do? Uh, what um, do you yeah. do? Um, run, Immediately run. turn it into police. Bob Squad removed a box of dynamite from underneath a Park City home Monday, ending the evacuation of the surrounding area. Excavation crews found old sticks of dynamite that appear to be from the silver mining era and the foundation of a home. Exca They've been there the whole time? How did it not go off? Excavator Was John... The lady didn't throw the fire hand. <laughs> <laughs> Excavator John Whiteley said the dynamite didn't seem dangerous, but looked like clay wrapped in a tamale. The paper was quite old, stiff, and wet. Um, now this is this. Of it. They found Wiley Coyote's stash. I mean, the, yeah, like just kind of looking at this, my first instinct not would not necessarily be dynamite, but I'd still call somebody. Yeah. Now they here, like giant cinnamon sticks. Yeah. He, here is here is the, the money quote. Quote. We, probably unwisely, chose to play with it a little bit. We were okay, handling what? it and breaking uh, it. And, not in any context. <laughs> <laughs> and seeing what was in it. So it turns out, that was not very smart. Uh, no. That's enough dynamite to blow up like a city block. That's so much dynamite. What do you want for Christmas, Timmy? I want some ancient dynamite. Let's play fetch with my dog. I don't want right. a house anymore. <laughs> I, I'm going to be the lost fan stand-in for Terra. Yeah, I've seen the first season. I know what happens to people that just move dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> they stop existing as a physical form. I, I am, uh, I'm actually slightly amazed there isn't a giant acne sticker on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, here, this is what's kind of baffling me. It's in a milk crate. Yeah. yeah, which means someone between the silver mining era transferred all of this old dynamite to a milk crate and just kept it. I mean, or worse, the bomb squad decided that was the way they were going to transport it. Milk yeah, crate. So let's put it in the box with the most holes <laughs> so it can easily fall out and <laughs> oh it's a box God. that this... will instantly explode and fly shrapnel over a, a mile wide radius. I... I think the building is going to be strapped full of that much dynamite. I mean, go on. Um, <laughs> yeah, people in the chair are going, you got a little arsed on you. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't, don't fuck, people, don't fuck with dynamite. 
it, yeah, dynamite gets unstable as it ages. Much like us, actually. <laughs> Dynamite's what doesn't get unstable as it ages? You gotta wonder, at what point did Jeez. it suddenly dawn on them, while they were playing with it, taking Why? it apart, tasting it, did it occur to them, this might be dynamite? <laughs> I would just love to see the look on their face when that's what they realize that's what they've been stroking for the last, like, half an hour. <laughs> yeah, it's just... It, color just drained. Yeah. You yeah, know. Uh, yeah. Agree. You're gonna have a bad time. Hmm. Yeah. And now we play everybody's favorite games: cinnamon sticks or dynamite. <laughs> Arkle in the channel says no. <laughs> Arkle in the channel points <laughs> out in college. Arkle in the channel points out, wow, how often do people in these stories have enough self-awareness to say something like that? Probably wasn't very smart. Not that's, often. That's true, not often. Actually. These, these guys are some, oh, these guys are special. But when I'm actually just like, it's like, oh, oh god. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for that motel, it doesn't look like it's about to explode. <laughs> oh god, there's some ham over there! <laughs> I mean, you combine this with the ham, it's like a, a Wile E. Coyote bomb right there. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Just, you're just trying to catch Maybe it right. wasn't the ham at but all. It's, Maybe it was the ancient <laughs> of, of the two stories we just had, the one involving ham ended in fiery <laughs> explosion, and the one involving dynamite didn't. <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> well, as seeing as I uh, interrupted your role play session tonight for this, I'm sure this uh, th th this is a fitting little story for the evening. Um, oh no! What did the first do? <laughs> <laughs> We're not as good at segues as Terra. No, no. <laughs> I'll make Nash do all the work. Oh. Well, we Pulaski just... County uh, police. Pulaski County man impersonated officer. Use nunchucks to threaten teen. Nun, excuse me. <laughs> Plastic County, and he's and the mugshot is uh, very happy about what he's done. Deputy <laughs> say, thirty-six-year-old <laughs> Kenneth Gill went to a home in on Holiness Church Road in the Tateville community Tuesday night and stood in the road spinning nunchucks, according to arrest. That does not make me feel safe. According to an arrest citation, Gill tried to get the 15-year-old to, quote, come down into the road and fight him. Oh, did I lose it? Oh, shit, we lost him. You're frozen. There sorry. you're back. There you're back. back. That, that's how Benjamin stopped. What? We went down to King's Landings and came out and fight and they burn. Oh, yeah. Mm. Don't fuck with me. I got the power of God on my side. I'm a huge fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. As far as I'm concerned, cash me outside, bro, is not part of the Miranda rights. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gil uh, then stepped onto the property saying he was the owner and had a right to because he was a Kentucky State Trooper. And then before leaving the area. After a lengthy search, after a lengthy search, deputies say a neighbor found Gill under a porch. While being arrested, Gill told deputies he was an FBI agent, so he had to be forced into a patrol car. Well, now I'm just confused. Yeah. Okay, so at first he was a police officer. Now he's an FBI agent. He yes. The porch was Quantico. What, what, <laughs> was his name Bert Macklin? <laughs> And he thought the FBI's weapon of choice was nunchucks. Nunchucks, yes. Okay. No, I, no. That, at first it was local law enforcement, then it was FBI. Uh, yeah. yeah. We're going to catch his, all the really dangerous serial killers with nunchucks. His career moves very fast when you're a nunchuck expert. <laughs> <laughs> either of them have a ninja division? Was he wearing a trench coat? It's, it's was he the, green? This, this is not like he was a huge ninja It's the low budget remake of Kung Fury. <laughs> Are we sure it was nunchucks, not just like two toilet paper rolls connected by a kid's that, would, that would be the sad, sad icing on the sad cake. That <laughs> that's not even good nunchucks. He looks very pleased not with right. himself, too. You know, yeah, that man has no regrets. Yeah. He's like, well, yeah. you know, you can arrest me, but that, I'm in the FBI now. Like, so. that, that look just says, yeah, but. So I can do nunchucks. Fun. What have the 15 year old done again? I don't know. There's I not the same as. He, he he's telling him to get off his lawn, and he's just no. I'm gonna be a teen. Oh, he's just squatting. I don't know. How old is this guy? Uh, this guy's like 30, 36. 36. 36. 
twice the age of the person oh, he was challenging to one of my years combat. old. Oh I no, am. a teenager, my one weakness. Let <laughs> me get my nunchucks. <laughs> Damn millennials! <laughs> I would have loved it if that kid was in fact also a ninja and the kid did in the showdown of the century. <laughs> that would have been a story. All right, we got one last one tonight, and this one, this hurts. Holy shit! This is just painful. For well, not I, I guess on my show there's a variety of different kinds of pain, but yeah, yeah. Oh, does this involve genitalia? Because I'm just not ready, man. <laughs> Man takes brand new four hundred and sixty-one thousand dollar Ferrari for a spin, crashes into a tree hours after delivery. But and that headline's already kind of like unfortunate. What an asshole! But wait, the asshole is gaping. <laughs> <laughs> Just hours after having a four hundred sixty-one thousand dollar Ferrari Ferrari four eighty-eight GTB delivered. A man crashed the luxury ride into a tree after losing control. The car, purchased by international soccer star Louis Graban, was being driven by his brother-in-law at the time of the crash. Oh, no. <laughs> that is going to be an awkward Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> As Graban was at home, was it due to be home that day, he had arranged that his wife's brother, Michael O'Donnell, would be there to take receipt. O'Donnell and his friend then started the engine and posed for photos. They then decided to take it for a drive. Oh, no. No. Despite the fact that he wasn't insured to oh. drive such a high-powered vehicle, he told, O'Donnell, uh, he told O'Donnell he had driven a Porsche, a Porsche in the past. He'd be able to handle it. Uh, yeah. Uh, they were returning when he put his foot down slightly, lost control of the back end, and swerved the Ferrari into a tree. Um, yeah, uh, O'Donnell phoned his sister, Catherine, to tell her what happened. <laughs> At first, so she funny, thought so he funny. was joking, but when he returned to the house on foot, she saw a cut on his face. She realized he was telling the truth. And look at that fucking car. That's a waste Well, I've got good news and bad news. Yeah. That is the good a waste news is of... we're okay. The car's here. <laughs> It made it. Technically, However, you do have your dream car. It, it just technically only happened. functioned. Yeah. It functioned. Repairs that are going, works great. Repairs <laughs> are going to cost one hundred and seventy-one thousand dollars, and they have oh, to ship it back shit. to Italy. Wow. Is it? Is insurance going to be interested in that at all? They might as well just get a fucking new one. <laughs> oh. I mean, if you're a soccer star, you can afford it. Yes, that's still. Can you? Do they make a lot? That's yeah, half a million dollars, yeah. though. That that. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 that is no one's walking around. <laughs> yeah. I caramba. Okay, Gen <laughs> Genku's got a very deep cut riff in the channel. Christopher Eccleston asked for fifty cars, not forty nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> that's a dis that's a deep that cut. That's nice. Terrible movie. I, I, I'm I curious like about the crime they've been charged with. Both pleaded guilty to aggravated vehicle taking. I that doesn't What? Aggravated vehicle taking. That's, that's I'm a sure it's not like well, it's not quite Grand Theft Auto. It's just sort of annoyed car. Poking. Well, I wonder, if, I wonder if it's because he's not on the insurance, so then that yeah. has to be like yeah. under. He didn't technically steal it; he just took it really aggressively. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I will drive this car. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't take this vehicle. You're aggregated. Ag it's a crime. Ag aggravated. Oh, yeah. It's like it's like the ballet drivers in Ferris Bueller. Oh, <laughs> That happens at the beginning in the movie. Well, there, the was a mo end. there was a movie song like Al Pacino or something where he was blind and driving a Ferrari. It was like, a a sense of a woman. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this is how that should have ended. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a nice car. I guess I mean, at one yeah. point I'm sure it was. It looked it looks pretty from the back. I hope those selfies they got with it were really good because that's the last time they ever saw that car. Yeah, everyone has everyone has issues with their in-laws but this is one of those that you, you're not going to forget this this like, is every time something comes up and they try and do something it's like the fucking ferrari 
Yeah, okay. that's someone's yeah. not gonna be in there. Yeah. He will never you... have the mole high ground again. Yeah. Hey, can, can I, I babysit your kids for the no, no. the Ferrari? The yeah. fucking Ferrari. Yeah. You will be <laughs> moving up couches upstairs for every like, move. Yeah. Not, not, not even can like, you pass the gravy. It's like for fucking Ferrari, get your own fucking gravy. <laughs> if Lance still had the Stang and you did that, you you oh, would have beat your ass. <laughs> Someone's I... been written out of the will. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is politely uninvited from everything. So I guess the first thing we learned this week is um don't touch the Ferrari. Yeah, no. just don't, 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 don't touch it. Don't touch the fucking Ferrari. Wait, well how did the plan was for him to take it home for him? So how's the plan not for him to drive? Or like, it? Was he at it. the house and then just like sign the paperwork when the thing got oh, delivered? Oh, I see. It was delivered to him. Why oh. couldn't a professional do this? Then he's <laughs> got no excuse. You can touch the outside of the Ferrari. Mm-hmm. You've got the armor all to clean it up. Um, we've learned if you're going to impersonate law enforcement, pick a class and stick to it. Mm-hmm. The DM gets really mad when you switch classes. <laughs> <laughs> what's on your character sheet <laughs> kenneth <laughs> kenneth what do you have written on your sheet okay that says state trooper not fbi now stop it <laughs> yeah, what's I, the armor class for that i mean i don't know about anyone else but i learned that ham is surprisingly more combustible than <laughs> dynamite. dynamite yes ancient dynamite the more you know <laughs> I, never, I was risking my life every time I had a sandwich. <laughs> I don't ever want to go and oh. look at the foundation of a house ever again. It might fucking explode. Like pigs just must just like blow up just randomly. <laughs> That's like the purest ham you can get. Pigs are just, just explosions waiting to happen. Well, we, That's why we eat nitroglycerin in their stomachs. That's why chitlins are so sanitary. Oh. We've learned that... Uh, just because you say you're Jesus Christ, that doesn't mean you get to break into the Pizza Hut. <laughs> don't get a free no. pizza. You know, if he'd gone in there when it was open and said he was Jesus, he might have got like some breadsticks, but that's the best. <laughs> best you could hope for. And breadsticks. <laughs> he could divide them infinitely. It'd be fine. <laughs> and finally, this week we've learned: please, don't, don't hit on the Easter Bunny. What the fuck? Easter Bunny don't want you. Well, no. I mean. Time no. and place. No. no. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> somewhere out there there's an Easter bunny that would have been up for it. But I mean, not, yeah, not at the hey, case there. Hey, if that's your thing. Certain conventions are Absolutely. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's yeah, entire carnivals they, for just that. But that have, wasn't it. They but have not, a deviant art for that. <laughs> not in the middle of the mall, kids. There's a whole section of the internet that's just <laughs> waiting for it. Hi, Nash. Hi. Now let's all tell him about our characters. 